What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys. This is a prediction video for a fight that very few people even care about, but I'm just going to predict the fight anyway. It's taking place in Fort Worth, um, Texas, but I'm not even sure if the fight is still going to happen tomorrow. Um, if you guys haven't been reading through the news or if you don't live in the United States, a lot of the Texans out here are very, um, I guess, very cautious of going out in the weather. Out. Um, right now, and the weather is actually pretty bad in Fort Worth. A um, bunch of ice on the, bunch of ice on the um, freeways, like on on 20 um, that leads to like 183, um, that leads you to Fort Worth. So I'm not even too sure if this fight is still going to happen. I'm I'm thinking more than likely it could be canceled, or who knows. But um, a lot of stuff has been canceled. All the schools are out for the rest of the week um, just because of one inch of ice on the road. But overall, um, I'm just going to predict it anyway, but I don't know if it's going to be called off or not. So I'm just going to put my prediction out there. Sergio Moore versus Brian Vera. Um, overall, um, I believe it's either a middleweight or super middleweight matchup for um, both um, contestants in the bout. Um, it's going to be, it's, supposed, it's scheduled to be on ESPN Friday Night Fights. So I probably will not be watching tomorrow night. I'll probably watch later in the weekend. Um... Some or sometime you know during the week next week, um, because um actually um the weather is actually isn't that bad, but it's causing the lines to go out. But and also I won't even, I won't be um I won't be here. So anyway, that's besides the point. Um, Moore versus Brian Vera. Um, overall it's a decent. It's a it's your typical ESPN matchup. Uh, <clears throat> I just got something stuck in my throat. Um. Brian Vera, you know, is a very aggressive fighter, come forward, um, likes to go to the body, likes to attack, but he has a lot of defensive liabilities. Um, when I think of this matchup, you know, a lot of people, you know, critically lauded um, more for his last bout against Sugar Shane Mosley, and a lot of people are saying he doesn't deserve to be in the spotlight now, um, just because of how he fought in that matchup. And... I went to the movie theater to see Moore vs. Mosley, and I left the movie theater um, in, after about eight or nine rounds. Um, I loved Undercard, but the main event was just a real letdown. I never, you know, in my years of watching boxing, I've been watching it since since the 90s, um, and I've never, you know, simply, you know, I sat through Mosley vs. Wright, um, and those were very decent fights, but I was a fan of Mosley coming up, and I sat through Jones versus everybody that, you know, beat him. I, I sat through Jones versus Calzaghe. Um, but overall, um, that's the first fight I just ever walked out of. Um, or And it's the first fight I actually seen in a movie theater, but the first fight I just straight up walked out of. Um, but, you know, he didn't, you know, it wasn't really exchange. It wasn't really taking many risks in that bout. So a lot of people critically lot him. So when you think of this fight on paper, um, I think that Brian Vera needs to do that. If you look at um, the 60s, George Chavalo versus um, Muhammad Ali won. When every time Chavalo got close to Ali, you know, he just, he continued to, he sustained a, a very um, hardcore, very um, smash mouth body attack. Brian Vera needs to maintain a body attack in this matchup. Um, so, and also, since there are, there's a lot of skeptics out there for um, Sergio Moore, and I'm guessing maybe a lot of people that just want him to, to fucking lose now. Um, you know, you gotta you know, you gotta take this fight convincingly. Um, come forward, press the action, press the action the entire fight, keep the head in the chest, keep everything um in the middle, um jab, lead it to a body shot. Um also um, you know, just simply cutting off the ring. He does quite well cutting off the ring, but he gets over aggressive, but at the same time in this matchup he can take risks. He can come inside and he can, um, you know, he can come in head first because Moore is not, I don't think Moore is going to hurt him. I don't think Moore has the punching power to hurt him, but he has enough power to get, you know, he has enough to, you know, get, you know, respect. But overall, I think Brian Vera just needs to sustain a, a body attack. He needs to have a well-established body attack, a well-established jab to get inside, to get to the body. Um... You know, and that's pretty much um, his way of, way of victory, just smother him. Come forward, head to the chest, smother him. Smother him, don't let him move, don't let him dictate the fight with the movement. 
Um, pretty much, um, that's just going to be his key to victory. Um, Sergio Moore in this matchup. Sergio Moore in this matchup has, I think, is going to have to take a lot of risks. He's going to have to kind of keep. Um, I think he's going to have to keep a a mid range. He's going to have to, but at the same time, maybe keep a long range as well. Um, he, you know, use the jab. You know, use the jab effectively. Double up the jab. Triple the jab. Um, keep Vera outside. Um, also, um, Vera has a lot of defensive liabilities, throw combinations um, when needed to. Um, but at the same time, this matchup take risk. Um, even though Vera is the type of fighter that will that could possibly hurt him, more than, could possibly hurt him. I'm not saying that he um, that he can't hurt him. He might be able to hurt him. Um, but you know, I think just keep him out, keep him at the end of um, his punches. You know, pretty much try to. And I wouldn't really say try to exchange with him, but throw combinations in, in the in um if there's an exchange in the exchange. Um I know Vera likes to fight, I know Vera likes to come forward. So I think you know using using angles, um jabbing from angles, jabbing from those angles, um also um inside if he fights him inside, uh, make sure you know go for um you know go for the left uppercut inside maybe. Left uppercut, maybe the right hook, double up the right hook, um, because Ron Vera has a lot of trouble protecting himself from the right, from the right hand, whatever it may be, whether it be the straight right hand, the right hook, the right cross. He has trouble defending himself from from right, um, from punches from the right side. I mean, I think it's because of how he throws his jab. He throws his jab very lazy, and and Sergio Moore has the movement to take the jab away and counter him, um, capitalize on his mistakes and how he throws his jab. So with all that being said, and with this, you know, just being a prediction without um doing much research, um, and not really looking at the fighters, to be quite honest with you. I'm just analyzing from how they fight. I'm gonna go with Sergio Moore by a split decision in this bout, but at the same time I wouldn't be surprised if Brian Vera gets the decision. But anyway guys, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. I'm about to sneak. Peace.